Hey, it's Maximum Pop Books. It's Luke and Kieran at Millwood Harbour. Is here. Yes. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. So your debut novel, uh, The Girl of Inca Stars. Yeah. And therefore your debut Yauk, or have you been before? Yeah, no, it's yes. my first Yauk. I actually bought tickets for last year, but I was ill. Oh so, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice I'm to meet you. Really glad I can make it. <laughs> yes. And what's it been like so far? I've had the best time. Yeah. I've just spent most of my time queuing to meet like loads of my favourite authors. I, today I did. Um, France Harding and Mallory, uh, sorry, France Harding and Louise O'Neill. So, and yes, I did Mallory Backman. So it was really That's exciting. a pretty good weekend now, <laughs> yeah. weekend to go. Have you uh, met any friends or made any friends here? Or? Uh, yeah, I've met loads and loads of um, really nice like pub publicity teams, which yeah. is like so nice. I've been in the green room kind of like sniffing around people like um, Lucy Saxon and I met Maggie Stiffbarter as well. Um, and I was like, can I have a photo? So yeah, it's got I've done. been fangirling. Everywhere. Good, good. All right, um, here's the cover for the Girl of Ink and Stars on the little postcode here. A uh, postcode, postcard. Tell us all about it, sell it to us, and um, yeah, go for it. So, the Girl of Ink and Stars is basically in the magical realist tradition, and it's an adventure story about a map maker's daughter who lives on an island. And one day her best friend goes missing, and she kind of goes on a mission to rescue her. But while she's on her mission, she uncovers a dark secret and it ends up having to save the entire island. So. Good little tease, nice. Yes. Okay, um, introduce us to their world and, and some of the characters. So, it's set on the Isle of Joya, mm -hmm. um, which is loosely based on La Gomera, which is one of the Canary Islands. And it's somewhere I went on holiday and was just very inspired by. I actually got lost and was like, what would it be like living on this island and not having a satellite phone to kind of guide you to safety? Uh -huh. So that's kind of where the initial idea came from. Um, and it's got basically loads of myths kind of permeating the island. And Isabel is absolutely obsessed with myths and one of her favourite myths starts to come true. Awesome. Okay, nice. And tell us uh, your writing kind of style and, and uh, what's your room like where you write? Is it kind of busy and stuff everywhere or is it organised? If people are coming over it's so organised yeah. and really pretty <laughs> but normally it's just like stacks and stacks of books. I've got this great old desk that I bought from this charity shop. It's just massive and I've just filled it with loads of books and like pictures of things that are inspiring me for the book I'm writing at that time and things like that. Um, and it looks out over our garden and my boyfriend is actually an artist and has a studio in the bottom of the garden oh, so we cool. kind of like wave to each other like tea break. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's really really nice. Um, and the people who like are Philip Pullman and Neil Gaiman and kind of that kind of dark, delicious, kind of lush adventure stories. Excellent, sounds cool, all right. And we're asking everyone who comes in, apart from your own book, what is one book that you would recommend to everybody? Uh, well, I've just come from her signing table, so I'll probably go for Asking For It by Louise O'Neill. I think it's a really important book, very different from my kind of um, style of writing, but so important, I think, really, everyone should read it. And Oops. if it's something a bit more like my book, maybe The Lie Tree by France Harding, uh -huh. one of my favourite authors. So. Nicely done. Okay, and finally, what is your favourite thing, hands down, about Yauk? Um, probably getting to hang out with the Chicken House team. I absolutely love my publishers. We're like a little family and just meeting new people. It's, it's like family. It's really lovely. Awesome. Well, lovely to meet you. Lovely um, to meet you, dear. Congratulations on the debut novel. And <laughs> thank you for watching this video. Check it out. Uh, <laughs> give it a cheeky <laughs> thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. And we'll see you very soon. Cheers. Bye.